Hey guys, how's it going? Snake again, back at it with uh, the Robo Hunter from 3A from 2008 E line. Uh, I got this maybe a month or so back. I just never got around to doing a video, and I had someone on Instagram say, "Hey, I saw your uh, Judge Death one, and I loved it so much I got it." Uh, and they're like, "Hey, have you gotten Robo Hunter?" So I did get it. I'm gonna go ahead and do one for him since I haven't seen any other videos online. Robo Hunter is a he's a pretty cool character. He's uh, from 2080 that that licensed that uh, that world with Dredge Dread and them. His character, uh, I'm still I, I'm kind of reading up. I ended up finding his first issue the other day actually at the flea market and picked it up. I mean this thing looks awesome. Uh, so and when you look inside the book, he actually when we go to likeness, he actually does fairly uh, decent in likeness to. Uh, his sculpt, his face, and whatnot. Uh, it's it kind of stylized because three A is stylized, but it's not uh, it's not bad at all. It's it's super super well done. Um, but like I said, comics kind of cool. I'm 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 gonna get into it and read more on it. But uh, let's see. Let's go into it. Uh, we'll start looking at some of the articulation and uh, some more information on it. And I think I'll even do in this video. I'll do Judge uh, Fish and Gronk because I got those at SDCC last year. And then there's color variants for those as well, which are the comic book variants in black and gray. Like I said, the head is really nicely done. I mean, uh, it's uh, the paint's not bad. It's, it's kind of gritty, but that's kind of like 3A stuff. But I mean, it fits the comic since he's kind of like digging junk and uh, messing with robots and stuff. So I mean, it kind of fits him. It's on a, it's on a regular 3A body, so it's, it's got like that 1-6 uh, feel where the neck's on a, on like a, a peg neck and neck and head are all together. Uh, his little cigar comes out of his mouth easily. I mean, this thing super tiny, so you try to be careful when you have it on. Don't drop him and stuff because uh, the peg might break. I mean, there's kind of a hole there, so with, if it's not in his mouth, um, I mean, it might look funky from certain angles because of that. But that's not a bad selling point for me. Um, like I say, it's on the, it's on like a regular uh, 3A body, so it has like you can see kind of the. The screws and stuff in there that doesn't bother me as well like i said it, it it's just kind of on the regular basic bodies that you see on like 3a jesus's and and cold murde and all them and whatnot but that means it has great articulation i mean double jointed elbows uh it's on uh it's got uh shoulder just regular old shoulder joint but it does have a bicep swivel and uh it's wrist it's on a uh it's on a ball peg so it kind of rotates and whatnot on that. Uh, this hand is actually a little different than what was advertised. Uh, the advertised hand was like him with a like a, a holding hand because he would hold the. It had a picture of him having the gun up and then his hand underneath it, holding it like that. But however it came out, it came out looking looking scrunched up and the the thumb and the the thumb and the uh, index finger uh, kind of closed together. So it looks more like a. I had him in that position where he's like, looks like he's holding his hat and whatnot. It, it, it wasn't a bummer that it didn't have the open like clutch hand, but uh, I mean, for someone that might uh, be a, a, a an un, or sell, that might be a, a bad point of selling for him. Clothing is awesome, like all 3A stuff. It is uh, it is cloth, so uh, it's got like this nice textured jacket overcoat that goes with them. These things are glued onto it, so I'd be kind of careful if you're messing with that because you don't want to rip them off. Or whatnot. He's got like a pouch right here. Uh, just yeah, yeah, has a little hook right there, and you can hook it onto his belt, move it around wherever you need it to. Belt's really nice. Goes all the way around, around and around the back and whatnot. He's got his little travel buddy, this little robot. Uh, I haven't. I don't remember. I don't remember its name, but uh, it also can hook on there to his belt. And let's see, I'll take those off. He's got a good, or it's not it's not the best, but uh, you can you can kind of hear it. Uh, it. It has like a swivel in the the waist, so I mean you can get the rotation and whatnot. So I mean, bend him all the way in. That's about as far as he's gonna bend in. He can bend back hella far, yeah. So you can get, get back real far, um, side to side, swivel. Uh, let's see. So we're gonna get the arms. So he's got this nice gun. It's nice and beat up, looking all uh, haggard and stuff. But I mean, super like 
the comics from like the late seventies, early eighties. So it's like it's if you if you you guys watch JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, Adventure and you see like their the colors of their outfit like changing all the time, it, it is the same way. Like this is uh probably the most neutral one because uh, how it looks is constantly changing. Like on the front of that that first issue, uh, he's got blue pants like a kind of a purplish shirt but when you look in the comic he's got like some purple pants and stuff so uh so it's not not bad uh he's got uh double jointed knees and he's got a thigh swivel and whatnot it's like really uh stretchy spandex plastics nice doesn't hinder the movement whatsoever so i mean you can get booyah kick in the face um like i said thigh swivel double jointed knees um, it has doesn't have any ankle articulation because they did a solid boot. Uh, cool part is that dread that's supposed to come out. Uh, actually, they they fixed it where the sculpt kind of cut in there and it would move like that. So dread's gonna have that art ankle articulation that this one didn't get, but it does move right there at the kind of shin ankle thing because it's like kind of popped in there and whatnot. I'm not I'm t not taking that off, but um, yeah. So I mean, he gets look at that. Boom! He's got some decent, uh, decent range of motion, so he can move. You just have to be if you're like trying to give him dynamic poses for, um, for toy shots, ACBA, and whatnot. You're gonna have to like fiddle with him to, to make sure you get him in a, in a way of, getting him in a dynamic pose. Boom! Uh, let's see. All the stuff he came with, is uh, let's see. So he came with his battle buddy, his bag, his gun. Came with uh, two of those, an extra uh, one of those uh, cigars, futures, futuristic cigars. Let's see if I can. Yeah, two of those. So if you break one off, uh, hopefully you don't break it off in his mouth because that would freaking suck. But uh, so let's see. We got uh, closed fist and whatnot. Like I said, three all three A all their stuff's always kind of like dingy looking. So, uh, I like it. Kind of just makes them stand out a little bit to other things. So, you got two closed fist hands, two kind of like open hands. Maybe this is maybe this is supposed to be the hand to, to help uh, hold that gun. I, it would work that way if you needed to for a pose. But, um, two open hands and stuff. And let's see. Uh, like I said, I'm going to go grab... I'll grab uh, Gronk and Fish real quick and I'll, I'll review those while I'm at it as well. So here we got uh, SDCC, Gronk, and uh, Judge Fish. These two I picked up while I was at uh, Comic-Con last year, 2015. Um, and then I guess you could pre-order, I don't know, they said it was kind of different than the SDCC ones, but uh, they were another color version. You could order those. Of course, since I got those at Comic-Con, I just had to order the black and white versions or black and gray versions. So that way I could have the comic counterparts whenever they I get the Judge Dread with his in black and gray and regular color uh, variants. But uh, these figures, they don't do much. They're kind of more accessories, and they were kind of they were a little pricey. Uh, uh, I think I see I've seen Judge Fish and Gronk go for over a hundred dollars just alone. These two, and like I said, they're really they're really cool uh, really cool pieces. Uh, this is a a pain in the the ass to get on that hook and then move it around because it'll just pop off so and then when I started messing with it I would knock this off so I kind of had to use some super glue and glue that sucker on there nice and tight because uh, it would just pop off when I did it but I mean it's really nice I try to throw water in it too to make it look nice or look look cool for a shot but it would leak so this doesn't have really good sealant on it uh, to do that but uh, maybe someone else's might but I mean look I mean you see how nice and tattered the 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 uh, the bowl looks on the metal part pieces and that Judge Fish shine or sign, Judge Fish logo looks great. I mean it's nice and gritty. Fish is all nice and carved out. So the fish looks nice and painted really well. So um, like I said, these are just kind of they're just kind of like extra pieces there. Judge Fish storyline is kind of one of those weird ones where one of the judge uh, judges uh, or like I guess yeah one of the, the main judges goes insane and he appoints his fish to uh, govern over all the other judges and makes absurd stuff uh, happen and it's just hilarious but also really weird and kind of touches on schizophrenia and stuff. Gronk comes with four forearms. Uh, they, they don't really uh, have any bendy stuff. They kind of just go up and down. The suit, it's kind of like in a suit too. 
uh, so you can kind of move it on and whatnot. Heads on a swivel, and comes with like kind of like this medical uh, cup thing with him. I don't know much about Gronk. Uh, like I said, I'm gonna have to learn more about him. I just know a little bit from from reading stuff. I know some stuff about Dr Dread, but the rest of his universe is still kind of new to me. So getting into it, uh, I'll probably learn some more. But like I said, you got black and gray versions, just the same exact stuff, just colored different. So I don't even, these are, uh, there's, like I said, it does have the, kind of like the medical sign on that one too. And then like this one, the bolt, the bowl's dirty and that's how it came. I didn't do that myself, but it uh, looks all nice and gritty, uh, really comic book style. The emblem is still great looking. Uh, but yeah, so those are the, those are the variant versions of those. Uh, like I said, there wasn't isn't much to, to uh, review on them, but to show that that is other parts of the line. So, because so, so I'm I do possess every single portion they've done so far of the 112 or 2080 112th line. Uh, they did have a um, a robot that came out long ago, Mongol, Mongrel. Mongol, Mongol, the, the, and he came in the black and gray version, I believe, and a red version, and he is 112th, so he's a little bigger than all of them, but I don't have those, and I'll have to find a way to get those, but they're not uh, uh, technically a part of the 2080 line, so I'll do some size comparison real quick. Here's a size comparison to a DCUC Deathstroke, uh, six inch or so, six and a half inch, I guess those are kind of close to Marvel Legends scale, I don't own any Marvel Legends, uh, I got rid of all those, and then him against a Neka Ari from Predator. And he's seven inch or so, so he's a little he's a little bigger than even the the legends or other six inch figures, one twelfth figures. Here's the, here he is in scale with uh, another one twelfth birdie uh, from three A, and a the one twelfth or just uh, I'm not sure what they call it. I mean it's Vulcan log. I'm not sure what size should I say they call it, but a uh, Vulcan log, big boss Venom Snake uh, from Metal Gear Solid Five that I reviewed as well. Um, he is he is a little scrawnier than. Then boss, but then again, when I did it last video, I mean, Figma, Figma snake was uh, solid snake was a twig as well compared to that to that behemoth. So um, yeah, there you go. That'll be an import import scale with each other. So let's see. And last but not least, in scale with all of its counterparts right now uh, in the line for two two thousand eighty. So like I said, this is all of them so far that have come on card or part of that two thousand eighty logo. Uh, Dread supposed to come this second quarter at some point I'm figuring 3A usually has some delays for the most part that I've, I've realized but uh, I'm figuring beginning of summer probably end of summer before I see see them but like I said I'll have the regular color version of Dread with the bike and the black and gray version with the bike as well and then I pre-ordered uh, was it Fire uh, or Fear Fire's the last one we haven't seen yet. There hasn't been a sculptor reveal yet for. But yeah, Mortis and uh, Fear I've already ordered. So those will also be on the way. And then I'll have all of them together. And I'll do reviews for those as well. Um, thank you guys for watching. Uh, like I said, uh, if, you, if you like what I'm doing, let me know. I'm not put, I'm not posting content at a really rapid rate. So sorry sorry about that if, if you enjoy the videos. But if not, tell me what I did wrong. before. If, you hit the, if you're going to hit the uh, dislike button, tell me what I did wrong. Don't be a douche and just hit it and not tell me but uh thanks for watching guys uh really appreciate it y'all enjoy and uh, if you feel like you need it go out and grab it uh i'll check ebay uh amazon maybe even entertainment earth might even got theirs in and they were pretty cheap uh for like 60 bucks or so you guys take it easy bye